My next guests are doing just that. Joining me right now is entrepreneur, co-founder of Be Strong Global Better, Bethany Frankel. Also with us is Michael Capone, the founder and director of Global Empowerment Mission. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your incredible efforts. Bethany, you are one of the most recognizable faces in reality TV. It was a big deal that you went there and did what you did. You spent more than a million dollars to fund your aid efforts in Puerto Rico. Tell us what you've done and how it's going. What we've done, and the effort will end up being about $40 million, which is a massive private relief effort because the money, which is over a million dollars, goes to cash cards that, that we've uh, raised. It goes to cash cards so people can get what they need. But together, we've amassed relief from all over the country, from churches, convention centers. People weren't really organized in how to get relief to Puerto Rico, so we've amassed it in a warehouse in Miami, and that will be in excess of $40 million in relief, all donated. I've, we've sent about 54 planes, all donated. Uh, and now we're past the planes and into cargo containers, where it's about, what is it, 10 to 30 every week, going to Puerto Rico, U.S., VI, Dominica, uh, St. Martin. It's uh, really, really bad there. And um, there still is no electricity on most of the island. People stop you on main roads for agua, por favor. I mean, it's, it's really, it's still at the we need water level. That's incredible. But how do you see it, Michael? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a really serious situation. And uh, we're thankful that you're bringing awareness. Well, you, you've been involved in disaster relief for a long time. How does this differ from other situations you've seen? It differs because it's the United States. Yeah, that's and, a good point. And it's the U.S. Virgin Islands, and uh, nobody's really talking about it as they should be. And you have literally half the Caribbean that's without an economy. It's like it's completely shut down. It really so. is a media thing too, though, because if people, it's like, who, what's the coolest, uh, what's the coolest crisis lately? You know, first it was everyone was freaking out about Texas, which was horrible, and I've been there, and we've right. raised money for Texas. But then it gets shuffled aside, and then everyone's worried about Florida, and then no one talks about Florida anymore. And then you're on, it's like, they're still having the same problems. It's only 68 days after the, you know, the hurricanes. Mm. So you have to kind of really keep rejuvenating it because they're still sitting there saying, wait, no one's talking about us. We're in Dominica. We have nothing. But now everyone's talking about that crisis. Why is this so important to you personally, Bethany? Because I was able to really make a difference. Not because I don't, the word humanitarian, I've never, uh, you know, I don't want any kind of commendation or anything. It was just I'm a business person and it needed for people to come together. And I give 100% of what we raise directly to people. I come home with cash cards that we don't give directly to people. So the point is, I'm a business person and you have to be able to pull people together. I was sort of the orchestrator of this and the switchboard operator connecting people to bring sick people home, to bring pets, to provide relief. And I just, when I saw how much of a difference I made in, in Texas and in Mexico, and I said I have to continue. Right. So it just sort of was like, almost like a calling. It just felt like, wow, oh my That's God. That's terrific. Yeah, so it's not like a big plan. It just was like, well, I can't believe I was able to do this. What, what do you want to see on a larger level? I mean, in terms of federal help, is that, how has that been? Yeah, we're, we've really tried to operate independently. I think what the real story here is how the country came together. We, we realized that we, we had collected aid in Miami, for example, that was two, three million pounds. And we realized that there was aid that had been collected all over the United States, literally yeah. every single city. And Bethany and I would sit and she would just tweet, we're collecting aid from the nation. Right. And literally we had, I'm not exaggerating, 10, 18 wheeler trucks drop off aid to our warehouse every single day for like a month and a half. Go ahead, from Bethany. Cincinnati, I need to from say this New York, from Chicago, yeah. everywhere. You're going to regret because they're going to cut us off and you're going to regret me not saying this. Every time we talk about these big fundraisers and you hear these big things going on in the States, they're not getting it there. That's fact. Because mm. we've been to over 400 churches, over 50 communities out of 78. And every time we go, they say, you're the only ones who are coming. No one's come here. So mm. all the big money, we believe, is going to administrative costs. All the big money, we've done all this with a couple hundred thousand dollars. Have you spoken to the administration about this? I haven't because we went sort of rogue. I didn't want to ask, ask for permission. I wanted to later, like we had the party, later, let's you know get in trouble if, if there's anything. Because we had to go and do it. But you asked about I think it's just a disorganization. Like, it's funny, you're talking about, like, there, it's not organized. So I would, you said, what would we want from, yeah. like, politics and government? Right. Who's in charge? Like, what's the plan? There's no organized plan. Maybe someone thinks someone else is doing it, but I can tell you that we've been there, both of us, many times. It's not being done. It's not organized. And when they talk about X percentage of power that, that they have, 
they have the ability, but people don't have the power. So they may have the power in the plants, but the people don't have the power. So we know that the ball has been dropped. We don't, we're not placing blame. We don't care. We connect people. But we know that the, the ball has been dropped. Initially, the governor sorry, had, had, sorry, had said, initially, the governor had said, look, you know, we've had an immediate response. The administration has tried to help, and they're doing as much as they can. Initially, that's what the governor had said. Well, I'm going to call Rica. some. Okay, yeah. so we had two, I, two very high-profile celebrities come, call me directly. Hi, can you help us with a plane? And they said, both of them, we called the Red Cross. We said, hi, we have money. Hot A-list celebrities. We had money. We want to do something. And they ended up coming to us because the Red Cross wouldn't help them with the plane. Not that they have to pay for the plane. These people were going to pay for the plane. Right. The Red Cross didn't help them with relief. How am huh. I, who's never done this in my entire exactly. life, the person helping these two celebrities get the chart of the plane, fill the plane, and distribute? Good for you. That is terrific. It's the truth. Look, the, this, the, the online community, your followers, they're calling for you to run for president <laughs> as a result of this, right? Because of the, the success you've had in, in philanthropy. Well, I like to walk around in my pajamas a lot. So that's a problem. <laughs> I don't think I could, I could conduct a business like that in my pajamas. And I also don't want to, I don't like to kiss people's A's mm -hmm. and I you know I just we like to we want to do what we want to do without having to you know deal with politics. I can tell you I've, I've I've been doing this since 99 since literally the Kosovo war I've been to Haiti 90 times since the earthquake wow. I've seen every mistake there made and I've never met someone like Bethany that I was, we were praying like we need something big to happen this is such a big thing how are we gonna do it on our own and all of a sudden she came in and I mean I'm not exaggerating she was on the on the chats with us from seven in the morning to two in the morning. I've talked to her more in the last two months than I have to my mom in the last five years. That it's is like, terrific. And we did it with you know. 25 people that we don't know. You've 20. really made a difference, Bethany. Yeah. She's Meanwhile, really you, you, a you are a, an incredible entrepreneur, worked your way to the top, self made. You. What, what's your advice for other uh, emerging uh, entrepreneurs that are watching? We do a lot on small business here. I, How have you done it? I guess this would be, this was like starting a pop up startup with something I didn't know, but it was passion, drive, and connectivity. Well, you have to have good partners. I didn't know any of these people. You have to be able to delegate, be organized, execute, and get it done. And don't ever assume that anyone is smarter than you. Just go figure it out. Good for you. Congratulations. Thank and thank you. you for what you're doing. We'll be thank watching you. the thank developments. You. Michael Capone, Bethany Frankel, nice thank to see you. you. Uh, to find out about the foundation, Be Strong, Global Better Initiative, or make a donation, go to globalempowermentmission.org.